Hi guys, it is a gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here. We have made it somehow to Thursday, March 12th, 2020. And guys, as much as I dedicate my life to avoiding the C word, which is not collapse, of course, the C word I guess I have to say it for uh, purposes of this video is, of course, coronavirus. Uh, I am just continually flabbergasted uh, at the uh, just the absolute global panic uh, over you know what I consider to be what I call uh, a, basically a bad hair day. Uh, that in 20 years from now, the coronavirus will barely be a historical footnote from the annals of the 21st century as the real collapse unfolds. But this is certainly a drill. Uh, this is anything, this is a drill for a real whether it be pandemic, superstorm, whatever, and we are completely failing it. So as much as I don't want to talk about it, uh, we have the good fortune here uh, of having one of our Alert Tribes members who actually works at Walmart. Now, I know you guys are having a hard time believing that a collapsitarian works at Walmart, but Talk about hiding, hiding uh, in plain sight. Uh, we do have a, a, our token Walmart worker collapsitarian, and I want to bring on Permian Extinction onto the show, and he's going to share some photos that he took this morning. Permian, come on and say hello to the folks. Yeah, guys. Okay. So you, you work at Walmart, and obvious, for obvious reasons, we cannot use this man's real name or location of his store. Uh, but my, I'm going to take a wild guess that what's true for one Walmart is true for the uh, 10 million Walmarts out there. Uh, th this is just one average Walmart in March of 2020. So Permian... Uh, when did you first start noticing the panic buying? How, how long had coronavirus been in the news when, when you started seeing maybe your first mask showing up at the store and the first sign of panic buying? Mm, maybe about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago is, is, is when it, it really started making a noticeable effect. And is it safe to say that as this has become not just the biggest story on planet Earth, but the only story on planet Earth, it is the, there is one story on planet Earth right now, and it is the coronavirus. It, is it safe to say that with uh, each passing day, the panic buying and that you see is, is skyrocketing? It's all you ever hear about. It's all everybody ever talks about. It's, it's unbelievably annoying. <laughs> uh, unbelievably annoying. I, I can't imagine actually serving customers at a Walmart. So anyway, uh, you sent me five pictures. These were taken this morning on March 12th, 2020 in your store. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so what is this first picture that we're looking at where there's just nothing at all visible in this photo? Now these four shelves you see here, um, that would be toilet paper. Toilet paper apparently is the hot item. <laughs> uh, now, my understanding, I admit I don't spend much time attending to coronavirus, but I did not have any idea that diarrhea was a symptom of coronavirus. Am I just, have I just not done my homework? Is, 
is, is diarrhea a, a major effect of coronavirus to your knowledge? As far as I know, it is not. But but apparently a lot of people, I mean, I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing scenes like this being posted from all over the planet. Have you... Uh, have you, you I, I can't imagine you've actually confronted a customer hoarding toilet paper and asked them why are you hoarding toilet paper have you just gotten in a conversation with a toilet paper hoarder yet I have not <laughs> I I kind of look at them and just think okay if that's what you that's your best intentions of survival. I mean, okay. Yeah. I'd be buying canned food and water, personally. That's how I'd be, but... They're yeah. going for, for toilet paper. I remember being in, like, fourth grade, and uh, <laughs> somehow, somehow the conversation about sales tax in New York City came up that that um, I was from Atlanta and this guy from New York City was telling us that there was no tax on toilet paper in New York City and this was back in the 1960s because it was considered the only thing that was a necessity uh, that is absolute a necessity. So I don't know if, it, if if toilet paper is being taxed in New York City today or not. But I tell you, when uh, when things go ass up, the first thing that sells is is toilet paper. Now, has Walmart put a limit on how many rolls of toilet paper you can buy, or how many packages of multiple rolls you can buy? It seems to be the only things that they're limiting on are like the Clorox wipes, you know, the sanitizing wipes like you wipe down the counters with. Um, bleach seems to be another one that you can only buy two items at a time. Okay, I'm looking so, at this sign, limit two cleaning supplies per customer. Thank you, sign the management. So, but th that's, that, that's already a little ambiguous, that sign. When it says two cleaning supplies, does that mean two of the identical product or just two cleaning supplies? Like one thing of bleach and, and, and one scrub brush and nothing more. I'm assuming what limit two means to a certain product. Is that what you meant to say? Uh, I think it kind of just gone in general terms of you know, that product, um, cause there's such a limited amount of it back there. You know, we, we just trying to be courteous to other, uh, customers. You know? So I see that the actual bleach, it looks like it's maybe 30% sold out this morning, the gallons of bleach. So that was actually lighter last week. That, that's actually a lot more bleach I've seen so far. So you got a good delivery of bleach? Yeah. Now this this one here guys is this uh, so this toilet paper what I'm seeing it looks like one, two, three, four, five, you have ten packs six rolls each. Now that's all that's on the shelf. Was was, was that was what was left, or is that what came in on the truck today? Now, so I was not there when they were stocking this, but we had a truck delivery come in, and I it wasn't a really large truck, but I'm pretty sure there was a little bit more toilet paper than what you're seeing there. Um, now, normally. All the way down on the end, them red bags, that's cat litter, because that's the pet department. All them empty shelves from there all the way down would be solid with toilet paper of different brands and sizes. Uh, 
And so this came in on the, but I'm surely it's gone by now if it came in this morning. Oh, I'm, I'm 100% sure there's nothing left there. But I, I, I'm, I'm just shocked that I don't see the little paper sign uh, uh, with, with a limit on toilet paper, like you have the cleaning supplies. Yeah, I, I don't understand that either. Okay, so this last picture now, is that also cleaning supplies? Uh, yeah, that's that same sign. So that's the... Sh so what are what are these cleaning supplies that seem to be more wiped why, excuse the term wiped out than the uh, than the liquid bleach uh, are these those are far off wipes wipes all wipes wipes all spray you know you're, you're just your basic uh, kitchen bathroom cleaning type stuff and this is gone it is wiped it is all wiped. there's left that's on a bottom is uh Looks like uh, Comet, uh, Soft Scrub, and I can't read some of the mothers down there, but uh, that's about it. <laughs> Good Lord, I, I tell you. So, I, I guess you guys, do you, do you even sell masks? I mean, those, those, the, did you ever sell those masks that you're supposed to wear to keep from spreading your germs? We are completely out. So you sold it. How long did it take you to sell out of those things? Uh, let's see. I think we started. People have been asking about that last week. So it's been over a week at least since we've been out of them. Now, have people been defaulting to uh, any sort of mask they can find? Are you are you finding that you're now even selling masks? Uh, I, I don't know, like paint fume masks and, and that kind of stuff? Yes, but any, any mask that we sell in the store has been purchased and we are out. <laughs> you don't have any mask, e even from auto supply and paint department? No. Gone. It, All that. Anything we could imagine we have is gone. To that, protect your skin and face. Yeah, that could have absolutely nothing to do to help protect you from uh, coronavirus. Zero protection. They ain't going to do anything. Now, one thing, so everything that you're seeing uh just in your daily life working at walmart it sounds to me at this point permian that what it is is an example of panic buying but they're buying items with a, with the possible exception of the masks that at this point in the global panic the the the, the panic buying is is of items that can be replaced in in the fairly short term. I'm thinking, uh, but but I'm talking about a different level. I've inter actually interviewed a couple of economists asking him this question: Are you starting to see what they call the the, the economists use the term interruptions in the supply chains? that, you know, so much of what Walmart sells is made in China and so many of the factories are down. Are, are, are you hearing any rumbling in your store that some of these made in China items just are, are going to be running out and not be replaced until this whole thing blows over? Mm -hmm. The only thing I've heard I've heard so far regard to that is we have things that, that come in that are feature items. These are items that you would normally see on the end caps or on stack bases in the middle of the aisle, you know, stuff. Mostly the same item. From what I've been told, we're not getting any more of that in. They're quit sending that for some reason. So give me uh, a, an example of some of the products. Are you talking about electronics? 
No, this is like food items. Oh, really? This is what, food this items. Is what I would say. Huh. So the, the apartment managers are not allowed to order any feature items. Now, this could also include stuff like general merchandise items. Um, now, but I have not noticed anything on like the far side of the store, you know, disappearing like that. But it's, I'm, I'm more convinced that Walmart has a lot of this stuff stored in this country already, you know, kind of like a safety supply. Yeah. So. Well, looking at the size of this uh, this center between Austin and San Antonio, good Lord, that building must cover 50 acres of land. It's, it's one of the biggest buildings I've ever seen in the state of Texas. Huge. Uh, uh, these distribution centers are packed full of stuff like that. But the thing is, is any of this stuff being reproduced? But you have not heard any rumors floating around, uh, it, 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 at least on the sales floor between you and your fellow uh, salespeople at Walmart. It, it hasn't. The, no, no rumors have filtered down to your level that supply chains are, are being interrupted and that we're actually going to be seeing some long-term shortages of some more durable items? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, but it, 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 it won't surprise you. So, uh, what do you think, what do you think's next? So, what's your advice? So, what do you, what, what is your advice to a customer looking at the shelf of cleaning supplies, what would you tell someone looking for a box of Clorox wipes? What is your advice to somebody in a search for a box of Clorox wipes on March 12th, 2020? If you could find one, I'd grab a hold of it because they're getting harder and harder to find. I ain't seen any of that stuff in weeks, that stuff. It, it's crazy. It seems like, I know we have some stuff coming in, but it seems as soon as it gets on the shelf, it's bang gone. Oh, yeah. There's probably vultures circling, waiting yeah. for it. You're giving me an idea. I'm going to go buy up every, um, I'm going to head out. Since <laughs> it, it, I have yet to see my first mask in, in Austin, Texas. Uh, now, I don't spend much time in, in stores, so I guess I need to go shopping for Clorox wipes and any kind of mask I can find and, and get busy on uh, Craigslist and uh, eBay that I have Clorox wipes in stock. And so if I if I can find a box for three dollars, what do you think I can get for it? Hmm. I don't know if that's the right type. You might could get let's see, ten dollars for ten, a four roll. Ten dollars. <laughs> All right. Well, I know I gotta. Well, I have to wrap up this interview because I have to race off. I'm actually heading to the. Uh, I was planning to go to the super hairy butts here in. Uh, in Bastrop, Texas, so I'm going to buy every box of Clorox wipes from the super hairy butts I can get my uh, my hand on and start making a little bit of money off of the collapse of the global industrial civilization because it's time to get something out of coronavirus. But anyway, Permian Extinction, we really appreciate this uh, this inside look at a Walmart and keep us apprised of the situation and keep up the good fight. Yeah, if I see anything else interesting, I'll definitely let you know. Bye, guys.